So the first thing that I wanted to talk about, and I'll keep this very brief, is the basic question at the beginning of a podcasting workshop should be what makes a podcast? What is a podcast? And um, being this being a workshop um, run in the Wikimedia, Wikipedia context at least, you would turn to the Wikipedia to see what it says there. And basically a podcast is an episodic series of spoken word digital audio files that a user can download to a personal device. Quite generic, but um, the more important thing, at least to my mind, is the one that I have on the second slide. A podcast generator maintains a central list of the files on a server as a web feed. And um, I should underline the word web feed or the words web feed here on this page um, that one can access through the internet. So basically a series of audio files that you can subscribe to um, and then download onto your device or a device of your choice. That's that. Um, the second most important thing is to, to turn uh, basically to the users, if you want to want to frame it that way, um, and take a look at where they will find their podcasts. And there are a couple of um, entry points and, and corridors that, that one can take in order to browse and search for podcasts. So one may be curated websites. I put two down here that might be of interest to this group especially, and I would want to uh, stress wissenschaftspodcasts.de. Um, that's German speaking, but it's basically a catalog of podcasts that deal with science in general, sometimes methodology, sometimes communication, sometimes uh, certain disciplines, and you can search their um, list and, and archives quite well. The other way to find podcasts is to um, take a look at discovery and recommendation websites. Um, that's what I'm calling them here, at least. Um, and these are um, websites like Feed or uh, Panopticum.io, where you can curate um, your own lists of podcasts that you listen to. You can um, discover new podcasts based on uh, the ones that you're listening to already. You can start um, sharing with networks of users. Um, so you, you basically create your own network of podcasts that you listen to and can share that with others. The third way and the probably most common way is um, um, to take a look at the platforms and platforms being quite a generic and broad term here because they work quite differently. So there's Apple Podcasts, the logo that you might be familiar with, um, Spotify, which works quite differently from, uh, from, from Apple Podcasts. Um, and then there's Google Podcasts, which isn't that commonly being not not that being not that familiarized with with the German scene. But I think um, in in the English podcasting world, it's it's much more familiar to use, for example, Google Podcasts. Some publishing houses have their own apps. So there's NPR, for example, but also uh, the BBC has their own app. Um, Deutschlandfunk has a couple of, of apps. So um, publishing houses, publishers sometimes um, have their own apps that they use to um, distribute their podcasts. And that's where the, the term podcast becomes a bit fuzzy, to, to say the least. Um, and the one thing that I would highly recommend for anyone in this workshop, if you're not doing so already, download a podcasting app today and subscribe to the podcasts that you listen to. So I put a couple of recommendations here, um, both for Android and iOS. Um, there's plenty more, and um, I'm pretty sure that a couple of you will be using podcasting apps already. So please do type your favorite or link your favorite apps in the chat. So these are kind of the five ways of uh, finding podcasts. 